Hey guys, what's up? This is the Moon for Astro bringing you another Black Ops 2 commentary. So, uh, yeah. Um, gonna be using the Shikam CQB with red dot laser. And, um, we're gonna be doing like two and a half mass matches. It's weird. It's like, I do one kill confirmed. Or actually, I don't know. I can't really tell anymore. Um, but I know we don't get the 100% full video. Or we get a full video, but we don't get 100% um, game. We get like pieces and pieces of two. Anyway, so yeah, um, I wanted to thank you guys for all your support, and I'm sorry for all the for the late upload. I I might actually end up uploading two videos at once. But um yeah, so um let's see what did I want to talk about today. Oh yes, what guns do you guys feel could be considered try-hard guns? I know there's a lot of debate, and I think all the guns in this game, sorry, all the guns in this game are really balanced, but you might not think like that or feel that way. So yeah, just um, tell me how you feel, and so yeah. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a story, and I'm trying to remember what that story is. Oh, oh I want to tell you how I met my best friend. <laughs> it's weird, his name's Tyler, he moved away. He's in Idaho now. Um, it's sad, but that's not the funny story. Okay, it's how I met him. So, when we were like little kids, like, fourth, fifth grade, um, I think it was fifth grade, fifth or sixth, um, we had music class together. So, um, what happened is you sat, I sat next to him because he was a new kid. He came like right after Christmas break or winter break, whatever you celebrate. And so he was like the new kid, so I wanted to get to know him. And, um, uh, I was. Um, I don't really know what, what exactly happened, it's like, I was holding the book, and then he wanted to take it to look at something, but I didn't hear him say he wanted it, so he tried to grab it, and he pulled, and I wouldn't let go, he said let go, and he was still pulling, so I let go, and it got him in his eye, but it was more of me, it, it would seem like I poked him in his eye, oh no, I know what it did, okay, I was pretending like I was gonna throw the book at him, but like, if d terrible depth depth perception runs in the family, so I thought he was a lot farther away. So I I didn't throw it at him, but like I moved the book towards him, like as if I was gonna let it go and let it fly. But I poked him in the eye, and he wasn't bleeding. He was okay. He didn't tell on me, which has made him cool. So I knew that um he uh, we would be good friends. And, um, he basically went over, we basically hung out, like, every weekend that we knew each other. And that was really nice, but, um, he moved because his mom got her, like, 90th boyfriend. And so, um, yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, in the comments, tell me about s someone that may not be family, but a friend that you lost. Not dead, but, like, they moved away. Um... I'd like to hear about you guys' lives. So, yeah. Um. I wanted to set some things straight on how I want my schedule to be. This is. I want to be able to upload videos daily. <laughs> but that doesn't always happen. It's really a big combination of laziness, forgetfulness, and being. <laughs> Excuse me, whoa, what happened? It's mainly a combination of being laziness forgetfulness and um, being too busy to do it like with school and then on the weekends meet more just like laziness cuz like I like on the weekend I just wake up and I want to I want to play video games 24 7 and that's really just me I don't really have time cuz the reason I don't like recording is because the way I do it I I'm, I'm, I'm trying to switch it so I can Record in HD and play in HD at the same time, but right now I can um 
uh, there's I have an audio and video input output which I don't use for recording and then I have an HDMI which I do use for recording whenever I use my HDMI I am not able to use my turtle beaches which is why I don't like it with audio and video I am so what I'm trying to do is um, I'm gonna try to set it up so I can do both and what I'm gonna try to do is um, on my capture card um, they have the HDMI for Xbox but then they have the component for PS3 for whatever reason I had the component even though I don't have a PS3 I had the plug which was like you plugged it to the HDPR PVR and there was like five HDMI or no video in input output so what I'm planning on doing is on the TV I'm plugging the yellow video into the HDMI slot I mean the HD video slot and then the green cable into the HD video for the capture card and then um, I also want to um, plug in the normal audio and video into the capture card to put the HD into the TV and hopefully that will work because I want to be able to play and record in HD um, so yeah Talk, let me go. Let me tell me in the comments if um, you think that would work or not. Um, let's see. What else did I want to talk about? Oh, um, I had a question. Whenever, like, you know, I've already noticed that I play Team Deathmatch a lot. And I'm not usually playing objective gameplays. And the reason for that is, is that when I first came, when, when I first started COD gaming, um, I was really in with the kills. I wanted the kills. I wanted the kills. And um, I never paid much attention to the objectives. And now I'm trying to get a good, like, I want to keep my KD up, but I also want to get a good score per minute. So, um,. That's my dilemma, and so whenever I play objective, I um, always go for the kills instead of the objective. And whenever I go for the objective, uh, my KD drops in the game. So it's really a dilemma. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get across, like oh, uh, crossroads between that, which is really difficult for me personally. If you have any tips about that? That would be nice. And then um, another tip you guys could give me if you want: how to get headshots. So I want to get gold really fast, like um. I'm actually getting really close to my submachine guns, and it re really helps it, is that you're trying to get to highest prestige, um, prestige 2, um, highest level, because it really gives you time, and something I learned from Tmar, great gamer, um, is that if you have laser sight on a submachine gun or an assault rifle, and it will also work on a pistol, and you aim slightly up and only hit fire, it will usually get you the headshot. I don't really know. So far, it's only worked for me on the MP7. It hasn't really worked for me on the any other guns. But you know, I'm sure if you're skilled enough, you can you can make it work. So yeah, we're um, um almost done with this commentary. And um, oh, what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer that um? I know I've asked this before, but I haven't really gotten any attention on it. I know people like it when um, people are playing the game and talking during it, so commentaries. Almost everybody likes commentaries. What I don't know is that if people prefer, prefer live commentaries with your first reactions, but it's not planned, or if they prefer your voiceovers where it is planned and, um... It's not your first reaction, because as you can see, this is a voiceover, and I'm not really paying too much attention to the actual game. Like, I'm watching it right now while I'm talking, like, I'm about to hit this guy right here. Um, but, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, um, do you guys, I know you guys prefer, like, I don't know if you prefer rushing, but, um, if you want me to go for the higher KDs, I, the higher KDs, but um, yeah, just let me know what you want in the comments, and um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.